Hi, thanks for watching this tutorial about time cards in Practice Web. This tutorial will show you how to set up time card security settings, set up pay periods and time card rules, clock in and out as employees, view time card entries and make any adjustments, calculate hours and manage time cards, view and export payroll reports. Before you can start using the time clock feature in Practice Web, employees and users must be added. Once you've entered all of your employees and users into Practice Web, you'll want to make sure that the user group each employee is assigned to has the right permissions. You could set these permissions by going to Setup, Security, Security Settings, from here, you'll go to the User Groups tab. Select the user group you want to edit permissions for, and then select or deselect the right permissions. If you want users in the group to edit time cards for any employee, select the Edit All Time Cards permission over here in the Manage Module section. This will also give the user access to the Time Card Manage window. If you want the user group to be able to delete time card entries, make sure the time card delete entry box is selected. Another area that affects security of time cards is in the global security settings. From the security settings window, you'll find the global security settings button here in the top left corner. Here you could check the box for time security enabled, which will prevent users from editing their own time cards. This will also limit users without the Edit All Time Cards permission from the viewing of other employees' time cards. Now that you have set up the security-related settings to the time cards, the next step is to set up pay periods. To do that, you'll go to Set Up, Manage, Time Card. To add new pay periods, you have the option of either adding one or many at a time. To add one, select the Add One button. Enter the date you want the new period to start, the date it should end, and the paycheck date. And I'll leave those as they are and I'll click OK. You can see it adds it to our list right here. To add multiple pay periods at a time, select the Generate Many button. In this window, you'll select the start date, the interval of pay period, the number of pay periods you want to create, and then a payday. Here you could either select a day of the week or a certain number of days after a pay period. If you're using the option of a number of days after pay period, You'll also want to decide if you want to exclude weekends and select whether to have the payday fall on the day before a weekend or after. Once you've entered the settings you like, click the Generate button. You'll be able to preview the pay periods you're creating here in this Pay Periods column. Once you're happy with the date, click the OK button and it will add those pay periods to the list. You could set up as many pay periods as you wish, which will help prevent any issues viewing time cards in the future. Next, you will have the time card rules. You could see what the rules are by clicking the Add button. Here, you'll have the option of entering either overtime or differential hour rules. You could also select whether those rules apply to all employees or maybe just a specific one. For example, Let's say that Lindsay gets paid overtime if she works over eight hours in a day. So we'll enter that eight here and we're gonna click okay. It will add it to our rules list. Then if we have somebody who maybe gets paid differently if they work after five, go ahead and click that 5 p.m. button. And we'll say that this applies to Leah and we'll click okay. And it also adds it to our list of rules. 
At the bottom, there are a few different options. You can select if you want the total, daily, and weekly time to display as a decimal format rather than colon format on the time cards so that on the employee time cards, it would show eight and a half hours as 8.5 rather than 8.30. The Calc Daily button makes adjustment if there are breaks over 30 minutes. If checked, this will automatically clock the employee out for any overtime that allowed 30 minute breaks when the Calc Daily button is clicked. You could also choose if you want to show seconds on the time cards when using the colon format rather than just showing hours and minutes. If you have an ADP company code, you can enter it in here in the bottom left corner as well. Once your rules and pay periods are entered, you can close this window. Next, we'll go to the Manage module. As you can see, all of your employees are listed here. So to clock in, just select the employee and click the clock in button. When it's time to clock out, the employee will just select their name, select what they're clocking out for. You will use home typically at the end of the day, lunch if they're taking an unpaid half hour or hour break, or a break if taking a paid break. We'll go ahead and select break and then click the clock out button. To view time cards, you can double click on an employee's name. You could see the time card you're currently on at the top, as well as which pay period you're looking at. If you need to look at a different pay period, you could use these blue arrows here on the left, either forwards or backwards. You can also easily switch between employee time cards without leaving this window by using these arrows here on the right. Go forward and we'll see that it changes to time card for Hazel, or we can go back and view the time card for Lindsay. In the upper right corner, you have two options, one for time cards and one for break. If you select the break option, it will show any breaks for that employee that has clocked out for. From either of these options, you can print the time card here with the print button in the bottom right corner. If you go back to the time card view, you could also see the total time in both colon and decimal format. From this window, you could also add an adjustment to this time card. Here with the add adjustment button, you can also calculate daily hours or calculate weekly overtime. There are two ways to make adjustments on a time card. You can use the add adjustment button here and this will allow you to enter a flat amount of hours rather than an in and out punches. For example, if you're entering vacation time and you're only needing to enter eight hours, this is how we would do that. You click the adjustment button, select the date for entry, taking vacation time on the 19th, enter the number of hours to add for that day, and then you can also type a note if needed. Let's go ahead and indicate this is for vacation time and click OK. And it will also show here on time card with the date that we've entered and the number of hours that we entered as well. Another way of entering an adjustment in the case of someone forgetting to clock in or out would be to have the employee clock either in or out as soon as they realize it. We'll say Emily forgot to clock out for break. Go ahead and we'll clock her out for break and then we'll clock her right back in. Then we can go into her time card and because it was a break that was changed, we'll select the break option and then we can double click into the time card event. Then here in the displayed boxes, we can fix the time that she went on break. We'll just say she went to break at 8.10 and got back at 8.20. Again, if you need to add any kind of note, they can do that here. You then click OK. Any adjustments made will show in red.
Let's switch back over to the time card view. Here at the bottom, we have our Calc Daily button. This button will calculate the daily totals for the employee whose time cards you're on. It will take the time card rules into consideration and will calculate any overtime or differential hours for that day. It will also make any adjustments for breaks over 30 minutes if that option was selected in your time card setup. The Calc Weeks OT button will calculate weekly overtime for the employee based on your time card rules. For either of these buttons to function, the employee must be clocked out for the day. You could also manage all time cards at once. In the Manage module, you can click this Manage button, and this will allow you to see time cards for all employees at once. It will show you the total hours worked that week, regular, overtime, and differential hours. Rate 1 would be the number of regular hours worked. Rate 1 overtime would be the number of regular overtime hours, and this is all based on the rules that you set up on your time card setup. Rate 2 is the number of regular differential hours works based on your time card rules, and rate 2 overtime would be the number of overtime differential hours worked. Again, this is all based on the rules you set up in your time card setup. If you have added any notes, it's also going to be seen right here. At the bottom of this window, you have the options of calculating daily or weekly hours for all employees. You could also print the time cards for all employees or just one of the selected. From this window, you also have easy access to the time card setup, which can be helpful if you need to add more pay periods or adjust any rules. You could simply click the setup button here at the top left corner and make any of the needed adjustments. At the top of the same manage screen is the report button. If we click that, you can see a few different options of payroll reports you can run. The print grid will print the actual employee time cards, not the time cards itself. The export grid will export the grid data as a text file to a location on your computer. Once the export is complete, a message will show up indicating the file name. You could also export the time card data in ADP format or CSV format. Using the export ADP option, if any errors are detected, you will receive a notification. And when exporting the grid, once the export is complete, a message will show indicating the file name. This completes our overview of how to set up time cards in Practice Web. If you have any questions about something that was not covered in this tutorial, please call support at 800-845-9379 option 2, or email us at support at practice-web.com.